Hi everyone, David here. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for coming back for another video, or welcome if it's your first one. Um, I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing okay. It's uh, my day off. I didn't shave today. I'm a little bit scruffy, but hopefully that looks okay. Um, it's a nice day. It's uh, not as windy as it has been recently. It's the end of January now, so it's kind of cold in Osaka. And um, I thought I would do a little public service uh, video again. Um, some of the tourist information videos have been quite popular, so I thought, oh, let's keep going. And uh, I, I've noticed my numbers starting to go up a little bit on the channel. So come on, is this is this is this happening finally? Um, anyway, I'm not going to get ahead of myself. Today I'm going to be helping people visiting Osaka uh, with um, how to buy tickets in the, uh, the metro, Osaka Metro, the underground, and also JR. Um, it's all pretty much the same, but uh, I'm going to give you an introduction to that. Uh, how you buy a ticket, how you can find your way around the stations. Um, yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> I did make a video uh, about a month ago, like I'm gonna put it here, uh, describing all the different lines you can use in Osaka. So please check that out if you're trying to navigate your way around Osaka and which routes are the best way to get around where you want to go. Um, so I'm just gonna go straight to it. Um, I'm gonna do a little montage video thing with a bit of narration. And at the end, I've got a few other bits and bobs I wanted to tell you about, including the cashless payment and stuff like that. Um, so before we start, as always, please like this video, uh, subscribe if you haven't done already, uh, leave a comment, did this help you? Do you have any more questions about what's going on today? And share this channel to uh, your other friends who are visiting Osaka or visiting Japan soon. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to, go back to, I'm gonna go over to myself <laughs> doing the narration and see you on the other side, okay? Okay, so let's look at Osaka Metro. This is Morinomiya Station on the Chuo Line. Uh, there are actually over 120 stations on the Osaka Metro network, so it's very convenient to get around Osaka City and beyond. Uh, first you need to find your station, so if you're a tourist you might want to look for your tourist spot you want to go to and find the corresponding station. Then you want to go to the ticket machines, um, especially the one on the left, the blue one, that's for basic tickets. I'll talk about the pink ones later, but here's the route map. Um, so Morinomiya Station is right in the middle. This is the kind of navy blue box with the little red marker. Then I want to find where I'm going, which is Umeda Station today. Uh, Umeda Station is slightly to the top and left on the red line, on the Midosuji line, that's 240 yen. So remember that number, we need to go and buy a ticket for that much. So let's go to the ticket machine. I'm going to see the Japanese version first, but there is an English option. If you press Kippu, which means ticket, then you want to choose your fare. And uh, just put the money in, and that's it. Uh, you can pay by card, I believe. I'm gonna put a thousand yen in this time. And that's enough money, so it's just gonna chug away and give you the ticket and your change. There we go, that's it, easy. Um, if you're gonna do a lot of traveling, you might want to consider the one day pass. That's uh, 820 yen today. This is a weekday, but it's 620 yen on weekends, on holidays, so that's a real bargain. Uh, I'm going to show you how to get that too. I'm going to use the English mode this time. So you can press the card button. And you've got to choose the right one day pass. It's not a weekend or a holiday now, so I'm going to choose the other one. That's 820 yen. And you just buy that as usual. Now the station itself has a lot of wayfinding information. It's got the big map. It's got a uh, yeah, station interior map as well. You can find all the disabled access, for example. Um, this is a very touristy station, so there are coin lockers around there. And um, is it, oh, we're lucky enough to have a convenience store tucked away there. And we've even got this amazing facial recognition gate. Um, regular people can't use this yet. This is just for Osaka Metro staff. They're trialing it. So I've got my ticket. So let's uh, put that in the slot. Make sure you don't choose an IC card gate. Put that in. And then make sure you take your ticket on the way. And there we go. Let's dash to our destination. So make sure you're on the right um, side of the platform. So this one's going towards Honmachi. You can confirm that with the overhead signs as well. Uh, so we're gonna change trains in Honmachi to go on the Midosuji line. Now on the platform, there are these big displays. They, they do vary a bit, but this is um, basically the same thing. I can see the train is one station back, so it's not gonna be too long before it comes. And uh, yeah, onward travel, you can see we can change to another line here. There's the gate numbers too, there's a map. Anything in the area we can uh, we can find on the map, we can work out which gate is best. 
You can even find out which car to use to get off easily. I'm going to change to Midosuji Line Homachi Station, so that means car one is the best for me. Um, so there we go, my train's coming now. I was hoping it was going to be one of the new model ones for the expo, but I just got one of the old boring ones. <laughs> a little bit noisy and crowded today. Uh, inside you can see they have bilingual announcements and uh, display screens. So this one's going to Cosmo Square, that's the terminal station. And the next station is displayed, Tanimachi Onchome. Uh, now I made it to Homachi, so I want to change to the Midasuji line. Let's follow this big red M. They're all color coded as well, so that's useful. So let's look for the big red M. So the overhead sign is saying go straight ahead. There's a sign on the floor as well. So there's actually three lines going through Homachi. Um, here we are, red arrows again, and we've made it to the Midasuji platform. I'm going to Umeda. Uh, this is all on one platform though, so make sure you're using the right side of it. Um, Umeda is on the left hand side, so let's use that. This is one of the biggest lines on the network actually. So there's my train. This one's only going as far as Shinosaka, so if you're traveling towards the end of the lines, then make sure you get on the right trains. They don't skip stations, but they do stop earlier. Um, if that happens, you can just uh, wait and get on the next one. So there we go, we made it to Umeda. Uh, Umeda station's got this huge, really long display screen as well. And they have uh, various adverts on there. And a nice Final Fantasy one recently. There we go, that's my ticket. Now, as you might, oh, I can't focus with this uh, short range camera. Um, you might realize that's not the right amount. So I'm 50 yen short. Let's put that through and we're going to get an error message. Oh dear. So let's go and adjust our fare. The, the fare adjustment machines are near the gates. This one's built into the wall. Sometimes they're standalone. So let's just choose English mode, make it easy today. We want to change, do the fare adjustment. If you're using an IC card, you can uh, recharge it here as well or we'll miss the slot. Just pop that in. It'll tell you how much you need to add. This one's 50 yen. So um, let's pop that in and it will chug away and work out what you've got to do. There we go. You can get a receipt as well if you tap that button. And there we go, you get a commutation ticket. This is a different ticket and take your change and that will let me out. So there we go in Umeda. Very all oh, people in a hurry in Umeda. Now let's take a look at the, um, the pink machines. This is for commuter pass people so try not to clog those up. The blue ones are better. Now I want to buy a ticket back home on the JR network this time, it's a little bit cheaper. So same routine really, you can find your station, um, we're in Umeda at the top, uh, Osaka station, sorry, at the top. I'm going to get to Morinomiya station on the loop line, that's the big red circle in the middle. I uh, actually forgot to press start when I bought my ticket, <laughs> so I'll show you that in a minute, in, in a little bit later. Now the green, um, the green machines are for reservations for Limited Express and the Shinkansen. Uh, you can't actually take the Shinkansen from Osaka Station, but you can buy a ticket. And you can use the Ikoka card with Apple Pay as well. I'll talk about that later. I bought my ticket. Here's the gates. Same as usual, just um, go through the slot. And there's a lot of platforms on in Osaka Station, so make sure you get the right one. I'm using the loop line, so I'm off to uh, platform one and two. Once we get to the platform, um, there's a bit more signage that we need to take care of. Make sure you're taking the right train. They're going to various destinations on this one and uh, different exit symbols as well. So this floor wayfinding is very useful. Uh, the red one, line up at the red for the loop line, that's the big circle. The blue plane is for uh, Kansai Airport. This is the getting off area, leave that alone. The little deer in the green one, that's for Nara. And the loop line again with the red circle. So make sure you're queuing up in the right place. Um, the platform itself, back to Morinomiya station now. Um, same as the subway, you can work out at which station, what's the best way to transfer when you get off, where the, where the exits are. We've got route maps, we've got uh, onward journeys, which is the best exit to use for each place. Now the loop line doesn't have a north, south, east, west. It's got clockwise, counterclockwise, so make sure you're going the right way around. But that's all signed, signposted for you. Tenoji at the bottom and Osaka at the top, that's the usual landmarks. And here's a bit more wayfinding, how to get to Osaka Castle for example, how to change to other networks like Osaka Metro. Uh, these are the standalone fare adjustment machines, like I said before. And there we go, just put your ticket in the slot. 
those IC gates we can't use unless we've got an IC card. We've got a ticket, so let's pop that in and we're free. They've even got a little booth for doing work. If you really need to send that email, you can use the station work booth. Uh, so that's it. Like I said, I forgot to show me myself buying the ticket for JR, so let me just go through the motions here. Again, use the route map to find out where you're going. Uh, there's an English mode or various languages. Let's choose that and choose English. And again, just choose your uh, purchase ticket and the route. You can search by station names as well. But I'm going to choose my fare and put the money in. That's it. Okay, great. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Hope that was useful for you. I've got a bit more information now um, before you switch over to the next video. Um, one thing I wanted to mention was about the JR Pass. Uh, it's quite popular with tourists to get the like a one week pass for the JR lines. If you have that, I think they've changed it now. I used to have a little kind of paper uh, certificate thing you used to show to the, the staff. Um, but now I think they've got actual tickets, so you can just put them through the through the uh, through the ticket gate and pick it up on the other side. Be careful of the ticket gates as well. Some of them are IC card only, which is the like uh, touch touch things. So look for the ones that have a like a little ticket slot. So please don't get confused. Um, so that's JR Pass. I've also speaking of IC cards. Uh, this is the Ikoka card, and that IC is part of the name. Ikoka is kind of um, slang for let's go, like Ikoka, let's go. These things are quite popular. Um, and this is one of many types. So Ikoka is there, there's, uh, oh, I forgot what the other ones are. <laughs> there's Pasmo, and there's a whole variety of um, different ones you can get. Suika is probably the uh, most famous one. Um, this is kind of a charge card. Uh, so you go to the ticket, ticket uh, machine and you can charge up with uh, however, however much credit you want. And when you get to the gate, you can just tap it. You can even put it inside your wallet if it's not too thick. I, I put mine in, inside the kind of outer pocket, so you can just tap it and it's uh, the, the sensors are quite strong. Um, and the same thing, if you don't put enough credit on your card and you try to use it, you have to go to that little machine thing again. Um, so just uh, bear that in mind. It's the same place if you need to um, like, uh, charge, your, charge your card. Um, I use this all the time. I don't get any special benefits apart from the convenience of not having to buy tickets every time. So I just put you know, a couple of thousand yen on it and I can just tap, tap, tap. And that's uh, useful most of the way. Um, you can use them on the buses as well. It, it didn't used to be like that. Um, I guess some, some buses you might still have to pay, uh, but um, buses is another, another kettle of fish, so I'll get onto that one day. So yeah, use the uh, Ikoka card. Uh, you might remember when I was in Osaka Station, there was a big sign about using this with Apple Pay. So apparently you can add this onto Apple Pay and then just tap your phone on the sensor. That, that's possible now too. I've never done that though, so um, I don't know, I'm a bit old school. So try and get a Ikoka card if you can. If you buy one of these though, you have to pay a, I think, 500 yen deposit, which you can get back, but you'll have to negotiate with the staff to uh, understand what we, you want to do. Um, they, they're very helpful, they'll, they'll help you get the money back. And um, I think you need to put an initial charge on it too, which I think might be a thousand yen. Um, but double check that, you might have to charge it when you when you start, or well, you have to anyway if you want to use it. So There was a kind of a Hello, Hello Suka card or something, some kind of promotional one for um, visitors. Um, I guess it's like decorative and it looks a bit nice. I, I don't think that was Ikoka, I think that might have been Suka. Um, at the moment, when I'm recording this, uh, they're not doing that anymore because they didn't have enough uh, chips for them. There's a chip shortage, um, so that's been kind of, uh, what's the word, decommissioned for the, for the time being. But I, th I guess that will probably come back one day. Uh, I think that's everything. I mean, as I said in that other video, uh, there are lots of different lines in Osaka, uh, like the Kintetsu, Nankai, Keihan, all of those. Um, Basically the same principle I've shown you in this video works for all of them. Uh, you you yeah see the the route map. You buy a ticket or, or charge a charge a card, and then um, if you don't charge enough or you buy the wrong ticket, you can go to the little, uh, little uh, separate machine and top it up there. So it's all fairly uh, straightforward. The same same kind of thing. Um, another thing I'll probably make a video about this one day as well, but. If you remember in Osaka Station, there were different uh, symbols on the on the ground for different trains. That was more of like a queuing system. 
Uh, but if you go onto something like the Kintetsu line, uh, Kintetsu trains, um, the trains aren't all the same length as well, and they stop in different places. It's all kind of organized though. So if you see the little chart at the top, uh, it might say like the white arrow or the you know yellow circle or something like that, and you have to line up on one of those things. Um, and it will give you the car numbers as well, so please be a bit mindful of that. Otherwise you have to like dash for the train when you realise it's not long enough. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, I think that's everything I wanted to talk about. I hope that was useful. Um, if you have any questions about buying tickets in uh, Japan, then let me know in the comments. As also, uh, as always, also uh, like the video, share it, uh, leave, yeah, leave a comment, just see if this was useful or not, and uh, share it with anyone who's coming to Japan soon. Um, great, okay, thank you very much, thanks for watching, and uh, see you again soon. Take care, bye bye.